Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be doing a real versus fake comparison of the Yeezy Boost 350 V2, the cream white, also known as the triple white colorway. So I gotta play smart. I've been getting dope cheese every time my phone ring. It's so and the reason why I'm doing this real versus fake comparison is because the, the fakes are getting so good to the point where that it's hard to tell unless you have them side by side or if someone is selling the obvious fake colorway. Like I don't know, like a blue pair of Yeezys because there's no blue pair of Yeezys. So anywho, uh, disclaimer, I don't care if you wear fakes, I personally don't, because shoes are shoes, you cover up your feet, but the only time I have a problem with fakes is when someone is selling a pair of fakes for more than what they're worth, like usually a, a pair of fake shoes should be like $50 or something like that, but then when people are trying to sell fake shoes for like, like, a, like $150 to like $500 over the actual retail price, so for example, a lot of people are just selling fake Yeezys for like $500, and it retails two twenty, so you're getting scammed for way over the retail price. So someone's getting scammed out of the hard-earned money. So this video is basically to protect people, because I know a lot of young kids most likely are the ones buying Yeezys. And there's some grown men out there buying Yeezys too, but mostly young kids are going out the way, spending more money than they should on Yeezys. But I like Yeezys, so they're comfortable. They have the they have the boost material in the soles. But the shoes are nice and comfortable, and they're stylish. So I have a pair for myself. But that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and break into the differences. But before we do that, which pair do you think is the real? Which pair do you think is the fake? You can go ahead, pause the video, leave a comment, and say which pair is fake. Alright, now that I've given you enough time to do that, let's go ahead and break down the differences in the shoes. So, we're going to look at the box. And as you can see, it's really hard to tell because literally the font and the lettering is exactly the same. Like I have these are both size ten and a half, so and they're these are both the right pair of the shoes. So to make this comparison a little bit easier, so as you can see, this box is all cut up because anytime they ship fix, they always ship it in a way where like the shoes get damaged really badly or the box at least. So if you get in a pair of shoes and the box is all damaged. That might be a, a key sign too, or just a key sign that you might want to get a refund. But anywho, as you can see, the the tag, the label for the shoes is pretty much the same. They even, they even mimic the whole head thing for the Yeezys. As you can see right here, they even mimic this part right here perfectly, the head the little male logo for the sneakers so they're getting that good where that part doesn't even matter anymore so as you can see they even have the numbers right CP9366 and they have it all up to the right thing the only difference is they put the size they put the numbers wrong as you can see have them close up so you guys can see on the fake pair Look at how they have the size. It says 10 and a half. And on the real pair, it says size 10 and a half, but it also has the US and UK size in smaller boxes. But this one has the US size in a big box and the other sizes in small boxes. So that's the key way to tell that they're fake. But these results might be a little bit different because these are the the restock pairs that I'm using to compare because I have the restock version because I was able to get it for retail and I can't fade paying <laughs> resale prices but even if we ignore all that there's another sure way to tell if your Yeezys are really fake and that is having a UV light as you can see this is a UV light right here and man UV lights if you watch all my real verse fake videos they help so much to tell so that's why anytime you buy shoes online make sure you use PayPal because if someone scams you, all you got to do is take pictures of the shoes to show that they're fake and then start a case with PayPal and then they'll give you a refund and the person has to take the shoes back. So, so we're going to go ahead and use this UV light. As you can see right here, I flashed the UV light on, on the shoe. Nothing pops up. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Nothing pops up. But then I shine the light on the real pair and oh what do you see there it says s p l y three dash three five zero 
So on every pair of V2s, it says SPLY 3-350, but it says it backwards. It never reads forward, so that's just something to look out for. As you can see right here on the back of the sh if you just look at the shape of the shoe, look at this. This one, it has the fake pair. Let me zoom out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. The fake pair, the shape of the cut of the sock line is completely different. On the fakes, the cut, it goes down all the way. But for the real pair, it doesn't dip that low. It just curves like that, like a wide, like a wide curve. But this one, it just does this weird, like, U drop. So just go ahead and look at the shape of the shoes. This is the shape of the real. And then this is the shape of the fake. And as you can see right here, the shape is completely different. Look at that. So that's just another way to tell. Now let's go ahead and focus on the toe box of both sneakers. And as you can see, these are both the right pairs of each sneakers. So that way this comparison is as accurate as possible. Let's go ahead and zoom in to the details. As you can see, on the fake pair, it has like this, it has like this, uh, I want to say this yellowish, gummish looking toe cap, but on the real pair, the toe cap is clear. So you can see the difference in the color. It should not have a gum bottom look. It should be clear, translucent, like a translucent white. So just be on the lookout for that. And then let's look at the stitching on the fake versus the real. This is the stitching for the fake. Go ahead and focus real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is the stitching for the fake. As you can see, it's, it's really weird looking. But on the stitching for the real, you can see the difference in the quality. It, the stitches are way tighter and they look a lot neater, as you can see right here. And then let's go ahead and look at the interior of the shoe. As you can see, it has the Adidas Yeezy. And that's the other thing. The fakes, they do a good job of imitating this. But the fakes, they have like, they have like Japanese symbols on it. And they're not supposed to have that. As you can see. The real pair, it just has the Adidas Yeezy on the interior. So be on the lookout for that. And let me go ahead and take out the paper. This is what the paper looks like for the real. And the paper is pretty similar on the fake. So it's just all sloppy, but it's the same type of paper nonetheless. And if you take out the insole for the real, put this down real quick. Look at the camera. You see the Adidas Yeezy. This is what the real one looks like. And on the fake, let me take this out. The fake, it has like these Japanese symbols on it. And it has numbers that it's not supposed to have. And let's look at the back. As you can see, this is the back of the insole once I've taken it out for the fakes. And while they both have the same numbers on the sole, there's like a very small differences that you can see in the shoe. Like this, like it's, it's very similar, but the bottom is very different. Like the cuts, look at this. Like on the real pair, the designs are more defined right here. But it's it's so subtle that you literally need to have the real versus fake in order to be able to tell the difference. As you can see, you see the back. On the back of the real one, there's like this little indentation right here. If this would focus, that would be good so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so on the real pair, on the real insole, there's the indentation on the back right here. These two indentations. Let me go ahead and take it back so you guys can see it. There you go. And on the feet, there's no indentation at all on the back of the insole. So that's just something to look out for. Let's see. Even the registered trademark. Oh yeah, there's one more thing that I forgot to mention. On the back of the real insole, 
there's there are these little tiny dots on the tray for your logo and this will be a key indicator you see those small dots one two and three those dot on each of the leaves this is what it looks like on the real but on the fake it doesn't have those dots at all no dots see it's just plain and smooth with no dots on the leaves so that's another thing that you want to look out for and let me see what else am I missing let's put the fake one back here and as you can see on the insole they all have the boost looks very real on the fakes because the fakes are just getting that good so it's pretty crazy how how far along that the fakes have gotten like literally if you were looking at a distance the only thing that's really showing you that it's different are the back of the shoe which is completely different colors this has like this little slight gum look to it with the real the real pair is more clear and white than this as you can see go ahead and zoom in so that way you guys can see the complete difference and look at the way that the pull tab is on both shoes I don't know if you guys can tell, but on this pull tab right here, the stitching is very is very thick right here. It's very thick. While on the real pair, the stitching is very light on the pull tab. You can see the difference. Like you can actually see like the box stitching, but on the real pair it's very light. So that's another difference to look out for. I feel like I might have to bring my camera in a little bit closer so that way you guys can see it a little bit better. As you can see, look at the stitching. You can literally see the box that it creates on the fake pair. And on the real, you can barely see the stitching forming the box, but on the fake, it's very apparent. To, to the shape that it's creating and let's look at the medial side of the shoes okay, this was the other thing the real pair it has this tag right here and it has the Jap I don't know if this is Japanese or Chinese so excuse my ignorance because I don't know so I'm not going to say it. but it has Asian characters on the side right here kanji characters and it says the UK size where it has UK it says some color migration may, can occur due to the nature of the material and then in French it says less colors or how do you pronounce it I'm not gonna try and butcher the language and then the other tag it says Adidas easy boost 350 v2 originals and that's how it looks right here let me go ahead and take out the tag on the other pair so I don't know if the tag is still in here I think if there was a tag in here, I might have actually thrown them away. But that's okay. But this is what the real tag is supposed to look like. I don't have the fake tag, so I think I accidentally threw it away. But regardless, this is what it should look like right here. And then on the back, it has like the diagram of the shoes. And then this is what it says. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it better. These are all the letter. You can go ahead and pause it and read it if you want. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for the real first speed comparison of the Yeezy Boost, the Yeezy three, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2s. And I hope this was helpful for you. If there was anything that I may have missed, go ahead and comment it in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it for this video. So just go ahead and tell me whatever I missed. Cause I know you guys always tell me if I missed anything, so that's good. And this is the sneaker community, so whatever I miss, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below so that way you can help out someone else from getting scammed. And that's pretty much it for this video. And don't forget, when comparing any shoes or you're getting something in the mail, always get a UV light on deck. These are like five dollars at the store. You can buy them on eBay, Amazon, or just go into Walmart and look for one. And these are very helpful in telling which shoes are real and which are fake look at that the UV light is the most important tool to use when determining if a shoe is fake or real or not 
because look at the way the pattern is on here the pattern it goes the crescent goes down but this one look at that the pattern is different But these are the type of things you're not going to know unless you have a UV light on deck. But uh, thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Share this video with all your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And tap the bell next to my channel name to be notified anytime I make a new video. And uh, go ahead and check the review. The on feed review that I did for the real pair that I bought recently. You can go ahead and see how it looks like with different pairs of jeans. And just get my opinion on the shoes. And yeah, that will be all for this part of the video. And I'm out. Peace. I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be starting on you I ain't really wanna do it